Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. In the last video, previously, I showed you how to make a hydraulic pump out of a grease gun. And we were able to get about 1,700 PSI out of there. What's that? Uh, 150 bar or something like that. But we needed to add a check valve. Now, this is a flow control, but we needed a check valve because the grease gun is actually designed to pump grease, not oil. And what was happening was there was nothing containing the pressure built into the grease pump itself. So the, the oil was just going back into the reservoir. It wouldn't build any pressure. We had to add a check valve. Now, what happens? You get in the field or you're a cheapskate and you want to make your own check valve. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's quite simple, but listen carefully. This might get you out of a dilly of a pickle at some point. It's really quite simple, and I explored this by making my own uh, Arduino hydraulic pump uh, project that has since stalled out. I mean, it's still in the works. You could do it, but there's, there's other options. And any kind of pump, especially a reciprocating pump, it needs to have check valves. Otherwise, you can't build any pressure. So here's just a fitting, and you'll note there's a nice chamfer on the inside of that fitting. You just get yourself a ball out of a ball bearing that fits in there. Now, if you put oil in this way, it unseats the ball. This is called a check. It unseats the check ball and oil flows. What happens if it wants to flow back? It forces the effective area of this ball. It forces it into that chamfer and seals it up tight very effective check ball. Now the thing is because we're going to be putting this into here the check valve the check ball is free to move around so what we got to do is we got to cobble together a haywire spring. If you ain't got haywire you're going to have to use a thick gauge if you got it thick gauge copper wire and make a copper spring. Not the best but it'll get you out of a pickle until the proper parts arrive. Now looking at this we don't actually need this adapter. What we're going to do is we're going to seat it right on the hose out of the grease gun. You see it fits just perfect in that bush and it'll seat on there. So what we need is a spring to keep that ball from frying out. As an aside, this is also how you can make craptacular springs. Not very stiff mind, but craptacular springs to sort of get you out of a dilly of a pickle. Again, there's quite a bit of half-assery and fuckery involved. But, if it saves the driller his round, bonus is bonus. Jesus, why do I even keep these around? Crescent. I got just the job for that. And this is soft as American cheese, unfortunately not hardened wire, so there's very little actual spring to it. It's mainly plastic deformation. Eli no, what you want is elastic deformation, but there's not much to it. It does have some, so you gotta get it pretty close to the right length in order to get the cock for dolly. Now, mind, in the previous setup, we had a way to get rid of the oil without cracking a line. In this setup, there is no way to get rid of the pressure without cracking a line. So, the pressure will remain until we allow some of the oil to escape by loosening this fitting. Alright, let's give her a try with the homemade check valve. Pumping. And you can hear that, you hear that? You can hear the check ball unseating and seating again. It unseats, you don't hear anything. Then when it clacks back, you can actually hear it tinking. Okay, son of a diddly, not working. Obviously the check valve is not seating. That's okay, that's okay. Never get it right the first time. Now, gentlemen, uh, I'm afraid that we'll be a moratorium on cussing on account of a little chickadee being in the shop. However, I will spare you from strictly 
Français. Hi. Allô, comment ça va, ma jolie? Huh? Hi. Hi. She's uh, doing a tool inspection, toolbox inspection. So what I've gone and done is uh, lost the check ball, son of a diddly. There it is. What I've gone and done is actually taken this quarter inch MPT, yeah, put the ball on there, and then you put it in the vise and you give it a whack. And that forms the seat. I don't know if you can see that because it's leaking, but there is now a chamfer on there. Now, as you can see, that spring of a thing is sprung of a thong. It's jammed, fetched right up in there. So that's no good. She's driving you crazy? No, she's just inspecting the tools. She's fine. All right, chickadee's gone. We can swear again. Woohoo! Okay, there's the ball seat, a little bit cuter end. And there's the, uh, I don't know, the other end seat, a little bit uglier end. She's in there tight, so cut a bit of that pigtail off. Oh, and of course, I done lost me ball. There goes Johnny with his pecker in his hand. He's a one ball man and he's off for the rodeo. Well, I done lost the ball. However, I found a drive screw. It's got the conical mushroom cap tip. So we're gonna stick the gland end in there. And uh, you know, hey, sometimes you gotta run what you brung. <laughs> there we go. Oh, huh? Junkies, you're oh, boom. <laughs> Quite a bit of tension on that in order to get it actually to pump fluid past that check drive screw. There we go. There we go. Now it is leaking a little bit. Oh, it's obviously not seating on that velvety pink mushroom tip. If this was a logic element in this is static, of course, but if if this was a logic element in a in a system that was actually pumping, that would work. You'd have some bypass flow, of course, but it wouldn't be so much that you couldn't make it up with the pump. But there's always room for improvement. Attempt number three. I hear you out there in YouTube land, you old curmudgeonly graybeards. It's never gonna fucking work. Oh, it'll work if it kills me. No surprise, the Jesus Grease gum stopped working. I think it, uh, I'm gonna put some thicker fluid in there. I purged it and all that. I mean, it makes sense. Grease guns don't work half the time anyway. Suffice it to say, a lot of times hydraulics are like them creepy parties where you put your keys in the fishbowl there. Don't hang around if you don't wanna see oily people at their worst. We're getting a little bit closer to grease on the old hydrocarbon scale. Bar oil, nice and thick. Summer bar oil. As opposed to coming from dinosaur squeezins, this comes from bar squeezins. And let me tell you, she doesn't have a lovely citrus top note. There we go. Juicing out of there like the vicar on sabbatical. Okay, this is my time to shine. I can feel it. Oh yeah. There's some pressure there to overcome the, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the stuff right there. There we go, we're bottomed out on the piston, in the cylinder. Urgh. Oh, that's working great. Oh, ye of little faith, I told you it'd work. Urgh. Well, that's all I can pump. 1700 PSI, that's as good as store bought. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. Jesus, what a fucking disaster. Can you imagine the man that does this for a living? Made of sterner stuff than me. Sick. And not cool sick. Sick sick.
Okay, and here's the best part. <laughs> I think I already closed off. Ah, fuck it, whatever. Release the schmoo.